Hello guys, Tills20 here and welcome back to Springwoods. Yeah, we're back in Springwoods. It's pretty weird to be back. It's pretty fun to be back. It's not fun to experience all the lag. My god, it is so laggy in this city. So we're gonna keep it on pause as we fly around and revisit some areas. No, this is not a reboot. This is purely just a little visit. Uh, I wanted to take a little trip down memory lane and fly around some of the areas that we built like four, three years ago and check out how much the game has changed, check out how much my style has changed and if you were following me when I first released this series, I mean, please let me know in the comments section. I know there's a bunch of you guys who have been kicking around for, I mean, all that time. It's been about four years now, which is pretty insane and I would really love to take that trip with you guys and if you are also new, just let me know as well because Maybe this is the first time you've seen this city, maybe you've heard about it, um, but basically this is the city that started off my YouTube channel and we've moved on since working on this. Like, I still get comments saying, are you ever going to bring back Springwood? And absolutely not. <laughs> this is as bad as close as it gets. Um, this might even be the last time I fly into this save uh, for a lot of reasons and we'll talk about that as we go along. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, this is a city that I based off Los Angeles and New York and a bit of Sydney and pretty much any other city around the world that I thought was interesting we tried to recreate and there's some areas that I still really love about this city there's other areas that I just they, they just did not hold up uh, so yeah it'd be sort of fun to fly back and check them out and um, basically what I thought would be fun was um, well, is to start where we first started the city, well, sorry, started the series, and then fly around maybe to Palmdale and check out the old theme park, go to Santa Monica Beach, I can't even remember what we used to call it, and then maybe fly down to the downtown, go up to the hills and go to the airport and check out Surf Ridge, maybe? I think that's what it was called, and all the suburbs that surround it. I mean, I think it's going to be pretty fun. And um, I'm going to keep the game on pause because it is just super, super laggy because we are, um, yeah, we're running a whole bunch of outdated mods, I think, and the game is, well, sorry, the city is so old that I just, it's just not holding up. A lot of things are just freaking out. Yeah, you're going to keep that on pause. Uh, so, yeah, apologies for the frame rate in advance, but let's fly down. Let's jitter down, I should say. It's much better when we get down to ground view. Okay, that's better. Why was I even up there in the first place? Uh, but, yes, this is where it all started. The city was already built by this stage, like a lot of it was already built, but this is where I started my first episode, and that was building the fish market, that was before we had industries, and before we had uh, the Sunset Harbour DLC, so there was no like fishing, fish factory or fish market or anything like that, this was my version of the fish market, which a lot of people gave me a lot of crap about, because they're like, dude, that's not a fish market, that's Morrison's, and I was like, I don't, I don't even know what that is. So I, I placed that down. We had barely any assets. I mean, this is still an amazing asset. I mean, Rick, Rick just makes such, such great assets. But um, as a fish market, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I mean, now I'd probably just use procedural objects and hide some of these things or place some billboards on top. But this was like before we were even using, I don't even think prop line tools out at that stage. Move it was definitely not out of that stage. So a lot of these things are so janky, like just really quite awful. Oh, and that's right, Springwood was based in the 80s. So all the vehicles you see driving around should be pre-90s and all the architecture at least. I mean, it's some of it could be questionable, but I tried to make everything pretty, um, pretty 80s style. Oh, some of these vehicles are really not handling it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is a whole industrial area. I actually based all this off New York, I think. Jeez, that's bad. That's so bad. <laughs> oh man, it's embarrassing. I feel like this is a bad idea going back around here. I mean, if you're going to uns unsubscribe from all this, I understand. Um, but geez, we've we've made some progress. Um, but there's like some little bits of fun detail that I remember putting in, th being really, really proud of. But um, I mean, a lot of, I, I'm pretty sure, I mean, there was only like a handful of DLCs when I was building around this area. Uh, but I remember revisiting this area a couple of times. Like I think I've worked on it a few times as we, as we sort of like worked on the city. But I mean, some of these assets are just so old. Like I remember when these first came out, I'm pretty sure there's a, 
something to do with the airport. Yeah, there's they got they got some airport functionality, and I just thought they were so cool. So I put put them right like underneath this highway. But I mean, look at the touching the highway. I mean, that is so bad. <laughs> that just makes no sense at all. But I remember when I built this thing, and I was really proud of it. I was pretty happy with how this looked. And I remember you got some really great, um, really great views of the city from this area too. Should we have a little look? All right, just just hold your breath as we look at the city. Oh, it's not too bad. All oh, that frame rates. It's kind of bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> and look, we've even got some vanilla trees just hiding around here. That was, this is like when I was still hiding vanilla trees within, uh, like proper workshop trees. And these trees, I remember they came out onto the workshop and like this, these were like the first high def trees that we've, that we got. And we're just like, oh my God. These are amazing, and they're still so good, but I remember the tries and these things were just pretty insane. So, um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, so Park Life was around when I updated all all this area. But this is such a fun build. So this is when I was still, like, designing this based on New York. So all this is sort of, like, based on New York. And then we sort of go over here, and this is a little bit Los Angeles, especially with these houses here. These leisure houses, which still look so cool. Yeah, still awesome. And then things get a little bit hairy around here. And particularly when you've got... And I've cranked down all my graphics, if you can't tell. And we're still getting some serious, serious lag. So that just shows how, how like, incompatible mods can really mess things up. So just be careful of that. Always always make sure that you're staying up to date with your mods. Man, this, this thing still turned out pretty cool. It's not bad. And look, I'm still using the piles trick. <laughs> Some things don't change. This is like still one of my favorite forms of detailing. Um, though I don't think I'd place that many vanilla boxes in here, but you know. Um, all right, now we're gonna cross the bridge. And this, over here is Palmdale. This is like an area that I, I mean, it went, it went through so many different stages. I updated this area so much. This was, actually I might even post one of the, my first screenshots that I ever took in this game and, saw how much this place has changed but I, I based this off uh Luna Park in um geez what's the name of the place it's it's escaped my brain I'm gonna pop it up on screen but um yeah oh Coney Island and it's not Luna Park it was called Coney Island uh and yeah I still love this area I think it turned out great and all the architecture like all these um big apartment blocks they still look so cool I mean these ones are a little bit outdated now but um, yeah, you can sort of see the sort of style I'm going for. So many buildings have disappeared. And I think that's because they're no longer in the workshop. It's always sad when that happens. And here's this amusement park that I built, which unfortunately has not lasted at all because so many of the assets have been taken off the workshop, which is so sad. Like there were some really great arcades that sat here and here. That is so sad to see them go. But I remember when I first built this, so like, this was pretty fun. So this was like a log flume that I built and obviously like I made this just from a path and I, it's kind of cool. And then this, oh man. Oh God, that's ugly. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. But this is not bad. I, I kind of like this. I mean, that's still pretty cool. All right. So what else do we have? Oh, how sad. So sad to see them disappeared. But there's some really great buildings here. Uh, really fit the vibe. But unfortunately, I mean, a lot of the vibe's gone. But yeah, I mean, that Park Life DLC added some really, really great assets. Uh, I have gone through and made some of my own rides, which I don't, I don't really know what I was trying to do here. But it's, it's all right, I guess. It's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine guys. Oh, and my cyclone is gone. There was a roller coaster that sat here that looked pretty cool, but yeah, unfortunately I think people have been taking things off the, off the workshop, which um, really, really sucks. But yeah, this whole area was based off Coney Island and I really loved that area. I got to visit Coney Island when I went to New York a couple of years ago, which was like super exciting. And yeah, I still really like this area, especially this boardwalk. 
I was trying to go for like a bit of a, a Santa Monica vibe as well. So trying to mix both those styles in, which is kind of strange being on opposite ends of America. But, you know, I tried, <laughs> definitely tried. Um, but then the station, like, I think this has definitely got some, definitely got some Coney Island vibes. Something's missing here too. Some, a lot of missing assets. Ah, oh, and that's right. So this area, uh, and again, guys, sorry about the frame rate. Uh, but this whole area, I remember got strict toasted to jump onto, uh, onto the commentary for this episode. And that was really, really fun. I was super nervous when I got him on because I was like one of the first times I'd spoken to him and well, actually no, it wasn't the first time, but I just remembered I had to try and impress and yeah, that was really fun to get him on. Super fun. And this was actually a whole redevelopment. I don't know if you guys remember when I redeveloped this whole area, but yeah. It's definitely taken on a couple of different styles. And this is me. I remember trying to like hone in on the on the eighties architecture. So I was like really trying to find some some buildings that actually looked, you know, pre pre nineties and this sort of architecture was popping up, so I was trying to go for that. Oh, this frame rate, it's awful. I'm sorry. And look, I don't even have the graphics cranked up. It's so turned down at the moment. All right, so let's get across here. So this is obviously inspired by by Santa Monica and by Venice Beach. And these mansions, I think, turned out really cool. Like, I still really like these. Um, they were super fun. For some reason, my beach is getting... Like, a lot of my decals are doing some weird things. Like, I don't know what's going on there. I think it's adding to the lag for sure. But, um, yeah... This beach was like still really, really nice. I still really like this. Getting some cars driving along, unfortunately. And coming along here, this was, I really liked this area. This was this pier that I created. Wow, that's, that's not too bad. That's not bad. Now we actually have some animated waves. So <laughs> I mean, that's how much it's changed. Uh, but yeah, this pier was super fun to make. Yeah. People used to walk across it, but surely if I made it into an actual park, then we might actually see some people walking across. Um, but this whole area, this is like one of my favorite builds. This is one of the last builds as well. Oh, so, so laggy. Um, but yeah, I remember doing this. This is all like custom custom roads and parking. They're actually sort of messing up a little bit over here. But I tried really hard with the detail on this area. And yeah, I think it sort of paid off. I mean, some areas are better than others, but you, you get the idea. But then one of my favorite builds of all time was this, Santa Monica Beach, or Venice Beach, I should say. And this is great. I mean, I tried to make some, like, and look at this lady just standing here with her bag. But yeah, we tried to make the uh, Muscle Beach. And, ah, oh, man, I thought it was sort of fun, but it didn't do that well on YouTube, unfortunately. That's just the way that YouTube works sometimes is... You think that video is going to do really well and then you post them and I don't know, either don't choose the right thumbnail or I don't know, YouTube chooses not to send it out to enough people. But I was really disappointed because I wanted more people to see it, but I saw like less views than, than usual and I didn't know what was going on. It was, yeah, a bit sad, but I'm um, looking back at it, still really happy with it. I think it turned out really nice. All right, moving along. Look how weird our glitches, look at all the glitchy decals it's a bit annoying but you can tell that like these are mods causing this lag because i mean we're not even looking at anything you know like we should have perfect and there's yeah some real really bad glitches around here but this area man i loved doing this um so yeah this is my version of santa monica pier and i just think this turned out great I really didn't want to do it like the exact style and obviously I could have used that uh, I could use that roller coaster to sit on here too but I ended up using it in another section but I wanted to do my own thing and I think that this turned out pretty much exactly how I wanted us to I'm still really happy and proud of this I think there might be a bus why are you guys parked there that's very annoying <laughs> just so bad uh, yeah but this is so cool when people are like walk underneath um, unfortunately, we've got some annoying things and it's just annoying. Like, why do they have to have fireworks happen during the day? Like they should only be happening at night, but all right, fine, whatever. 
yeah, that was fun. That was really cool. And this whole car park turned out really great too. Ah, oh, that's right. And my custom sculpture in the middle here. So great. And then this was like one of the last builds that I did until we um, basically revisited Springwoods. But yeah, do you see why we're not revisiting Springwoods? It is just so, so laggy now. And this is like the better areas. So this area, like at least nothing has really properly disappeared. There's a few things that have like disappeared because of people removing them from the workshop. But I mean, coming over to some of the other areas. So let's just bypass some of these areas because they're pretty, they're very, very outdated. Like I remember doing all these bits and being like, this is about as good as it gets. <laughs> and now it's just so not great. Like, what are you guys doing up there? Oh, so bad. Oh, and that's right. So Jay, I mean, he created these really great train assets for uh, Springwood and they were all based in the eighties and they were all based on, they'll again, sort of like a mix between what you'd find in California and what you'd find in um, New York, potentially. <laughs> we used to get the worst, the worst holdups with trains as well. So that the, all the train lines were so messed up. Oh God, this is going to make such a bad video guys. I understand that. I understand that, but I'm committing to it. I'm going to commit to it. This is basically showing you how bad it can get. Oh, it's so bad. Uh, but I was obsessed with making these these uh, these stormwater drains. I used to love these. And I still wish I could make one of these in in um in Marble Mountain in Montana, but I think I've I think I've overdone it. <laughs> I think I don't think I could do it anymore. Uh, but they've basically taken on like so many different lives. So like they started like this, and then I started making them like this, and then you know what, let's just fly over to where they then ended up looking. Then I was making them like this. And when we go back over the river, we'll, we'll have a look at how they ended up looking. Uh, but all over here, I really wanted to do, like I was looking forward to doing like all these suburbs over here. This is going to be like a super easy build. And I really wish I tackled this much earlier on because, I mean, this would have been so easy, so quick. And it just would have filled out the city so much more. Whereas instead, we just left it open for too long. And I really regret that. Um, while we're over here, let's have a look at this beautiful, beautiful wind farm. I think this is my second build. Yeah, this is the second episode, I believe. Still quite cool. And I thought that I was going to get all the way out here. You know, and do you see why I started Marble Mountain? This was my desert, okay? Just nothing. There was not enough space. I... I just tackled this project. I mean, obviously I didn't really know. I didn't know how the city was going to pan out, but yeah, I sort of expected it to um, last longer than it did. All right, let's go up to Griffin, Griffin, Griffith Observatory. All right, let's just lag out for a second. All right, get ready. Get ready for lagginess. Whoa. All right, it's not good. Not good. We're not going to do that. Again, and I don't want to keep repeating myself, but super fun build. Love this area. I really love this area because I was like, just really enjoy making mountains. Like I enjoy making mountains and I dislike making mountains. I enjoy the aftermath and I enjoy the, uh, like how they look and you know, the from nothing to something. Cause I feel like you make some really big uh, differences when you do some terraforming, but the process, not so much. But I really want to do some more. I'm just going to scroll in so that this is all like, there we go. That's a bit better. Uh, but I want to do some more stuff like this in Marble Mountain for sure. And definitely work on some more of the like pathing because this was really fun to do. And I remember just putting down decals like, oh God, not good. Not good. All right. Scrolling out. Oh, I forgot all about this. This was another episode that I was like, oh man, people are going to love this. This is going to do so well. And then it just flopped. <laughs> it did so badly. I don't remember put so much work into it. Oh, but that's all right. I still love it. And these are our mansions that we made. 
Oh, geez. I mean, I've only just made some of these in, in Marble Mountain, but I mean, this one here is, I still love this so much. I think this turned out so cool. Some great views from up here as well. But yeah, we made a whole bunch of mansions. And then like when we revisited Springwood, we, uh, we did all this. So we did all these road layouts and we're going to rebuild over here. But then, um, unfortunately the game just wouldn't open. That was that time when, uh, basically if you had a road that was, they were no longer subscribed to and was in the game, then you were no longer able to load up the game. I'm pretty sure they fixed that problem, which is the reason why I'm actually flying around in the city, in the city now, um, because they fixed it up. Let's just have a quick look at, oh, sorry about the graphics guys. Well, that's fun, isn't it? All right, we're not gonna go to the downtown. Oh, all right, let's just do a little bit. If you don't wanna see lag, tune out for the next, I don't know, four minutes. All right, you gone? Great. <laughs> because this is gonna get laggy. So this is basically for those people who uh, jumped onto City Skylines when they released universities. Well, or the campus DLC rather, this was my campus. <laughs> this was a university in Springwood. Uh, good times. Yeah, good times. And we had this whole rail line coming through here. Oh, uh, man. I mean, this took on a couple of different versions, but this was really, really cool to build. I, ble I believe this is called Crompton when we built this. All right. I don't know if I can go down there. It looks too, too glitchy. We'll just do a little, oh, no, nah, I'm not doing it. No, nah, not doing it. There's nothing to see down there, guys. Honestly, <laughs> just take my word for it. I remember like we did all this and this was, this was meant to be, well, I mean, it still is, but it, this, and this is where I really hated Springwood because this was like so much New York. This is like Brooklyn or something you'd find in Manhattan. And then across the street is directly referenced from Compton. So it was just so, so conflicting. Like I had to like totally avoid doing cinematics around here because they just looked so bad um, and they just looked out of place. So I just remember I avoided that so much. I uh, hated it. Um, I do want to have a look at some, I do want to have a look over here because I remember this being, okay, how's that? Oh gosh. All right. Uh, this is like my first ever video to go super well. I remember we got like three thirty thousand views or something and I just remember going, Oh my god. Like what I've hit the jackpot. Th like things are never gonna get this good. <laughs> I was like so happy for that. And um I think it was this I think I took a screenshot here like this. Yeah. I think the I think the thumbnail was this and I had a tram going through and yeah. I just remember waking up and having heaps of views and I'm just going, oh my God, this is so good. But yeah, this is like meant to be a really affluent area. I wanted this to be a bit like Hollywood, but um, you know, really, really quite nice. And it's, yeah, it's, it's seen better days. All right, we, we are taking ages. Let's, um, let's quickly fly through a couple of other areas. This area, I really wanted to be um, you know, very industrial, but I just never got to it, unfortunately. Even though I put in a bunch of infrastructure for it, just never saw it. Uh, sorry, just never saw realized. But I think it would have made heaps of sense. And the train line and the road pattern was actually working out perfectly. So we had the port here, which obviously has no containers so far out. Um, but we had the port and then the train line was going to go all the way around here. And there's going to be like heaps of train lines going in and out of these factories. And then there's actually a train line that is just here. So it would have connected up so beautifully. I remember putting in heaps of groundwork and thinking, all right, this is going to make so much sense. I'm so clever. Good on you. And then um, I never got to it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we've got all these suburbs here and the port. Let's let's have a little look at the port. Whoop, 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 whoop. And there we are. I mean, it's pretty, pretty bad. But I do remember I really loved putting in all these like, uh, all these sunken crates and containers and barges. That was, I really loved doing that. All right, that's enough of that. Big old headlands. I don't think I even, this, that's not even like a proper park. It's just like a headland. Uh, and then we have this big bad boy. This was like the first, this was like the first blow up on my channel. Um, in fact, this, there is a thumbnail. 
I believe it was this thumbnail, but obviously with a beautiful Besquigglehausen plane, not one of these disgusting vanilla ones. But I took a screenshot here, thumbnail, and that blew up. And that's still, I think, one of the most, I think that's still like the best performing video on my channel. Still get like regular views on that and regular comments. But um, yeah, I remember doing this and just being so stoked that people were noticing my channel. And I still think that this airport is pretty, pretty damn nice. It's um basically split up into two sections. We've got the domestic terminal here and then the international. And um, we'll just let everything load in. And it was based on Sydney, but then I also like mixed in a bit of Los Angeles as well. So we've got like the In-N-Out Burger joint here. And um, yeah, we've also got this this monorail too, we call it the air train. It's still pretty solid. Although we don't have the rec we've got the vanilla ones flying around. Oh well, that's fine. That's better. They're the ones I wanted to see. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. Here's another version of my <laughs> stormwater drains, which I think turned out a lot better. And we've got these train lines along here. Ah, oh, so cool. Forgot all about that. Um, Astrodome. Got the Astrodome. Loved that. And look, I'm still pulling out the same moves, guys. Oh, come on. There we go. Train line and station in the middle of a highway. Classic move by me. Still doing it. Nothing changes. <laughs> uh, and then what do we have over here? Look at this. Look at this line of trains. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is so bad. All right. Almost there. What else do we have? We have this whole factory area here or these warehouses I should say or office blocks rather and then we also have ah oh, forgot all about this entrance that's not bad but yes you can see my style hasn't changed too much uh, well at least my style's changed a bit but my inspiration has not changed that much um, I mean, this sign's still great. Do I do something like this for Springwood? Not for Springwood, sorry, for Marble Mountain. What do you reckon? All right, let me know. That's if anyone's still watching. Are you still watching? A little trip down memory lane. It's been nice. But man, this lag. I do miss the beautiful silkiness of Marble Mountain. I mean, it's silky compared to this. Oh, I wonder if my guys are still there. Are there any people here? No. Looks like... That assets disappeared from the workshop, but I used to have some people here. That was a fun episode, wasn't it? Do you guys remember that one? That was a really fun one. Jeez. All right. <laughs> oh boy. And we didn't go to this one, did we? There's not much to see here. Oh, uh, and this build, I've never gotten so much slack before <laughs> in one of my videos. But remember when I put like the, I think it was called the finish line or something like that. And I put it on this, on this cheese factory. And I said that it was the fishing line restaurant seafood joint. And people were like, dude, you just basically turned a restaurant into a retail store. Yeah. Well, that was, um, that was awful. I mean, let me know if you're one of the people that gave me slack for that. <laughs> I, I would not, um, I would not blame you. Let's just say that. All right, and let's finish it off by checking out this area that I really loved putting together. And I think we need to turn on some of the graphics to get some of the trees rendering just a little bit better. I'm going to show you how low my detail is at the moment. Look at all that. I never have it this low. But yes, surf woods. I mean, this area I loved putting together. This is so much fun. This is, uh, I, what is the place called again? I can't remember what it's called. Maybe it's called Surf Ridge or, uh, I can't remember the name of the place. Um, but basically this area was muscled out. It was an old community and it was muscled out by the international airport and all these houses became abandoned and there's still a couple little houses still holding on. I believe that most of them have probably despawned, unfortunately. And this one's despawned and then grown back into a, oh my God, <laughs> that was definitely not meant to be that before. Um, but they're meant to be like this. Uh, and they were great. And that was just such a great build. I really enjoyed doing this one.
Yeah, so cool. All right. Guys, I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit of a weird one. I'm just going to whack it up on my channel in the midweek. So hopefully, hopefully people who enjoy it and appreciate how far we've come as we've uh, basically been working on my channel. All right, let's never open up the save game again. It's way too laggy. It's way too awful. But it was um, good to fly around and go back. And again, if you remember this series with Fond's memories, or if you were around to name all these places up and were around even for the very first episode, let me know in the comment section below. I would uh, really love to get back in touch and reminisce a little bit more. And, I don't know. Maybe we'll open this save, save game again, or maybe we just say see you later. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!